Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Lava, good to see everybody. And welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. All right, my wonderful collectives, let's do another reading for you. Once again, I will have no topic. Whatever information you need to hear at this specific moment. For my collectives, what do you need to hear? Complicated. So things may be complicated in your life, but you know what? It's kind of goes in cycle. Um, I have 37 moon cycle, moon cycle. And let's pull one more for clarification. We have summon. Complicated and we have summon. Okay. All right. We have high priestess. High priestess of spirit. Okay. So whether you understand it or not, potentially, but um, I feel like whatever the situation, the complicated situation that you're going through is going to end. Cycle means the ending, the ending, just as the cycle of the moon starts with a full moon, new moon reaches the full moon, and then it goes down. I also feel summon and I, have, uh, I feel high priestess spirit, so... This is, could be you. This is you having the power yourself uh, to to have that wish fulfillment. Now, let's clarify. What is this uh, complicated situation? I feel like there is an ending here, okay? You t you, you're taking control. I feel like you're taking the control of the situation. You're taking the control of your life. Now, what is this complicated situation in your life? Strengths. Complicated. You're definitely wounded. Wounded. It was difficult for you. You're tired. You're exhausted. It was a quite a battle for you. Okay? But you have a great spirit. You have a spirit of a fighter. Nine of Wands is also um, a card that defines strength. No matter how complicated it is, you're going to finish it. You're going to fight it till the end. So I, I do not sense energy that you are giving up here. Now, um, what is the situation? It's a hermit. The hermit. Alone. You're doing everything alone. But on another hand, while you having the strength to withhold whatever the situation you're going through, and once again by the hermit, it, it's not an easy situation. The situation you've been through, the situation you're currently still going through is a very difficult and a painful process. But uh, one thing that this is ending. 37 number is significant here. Uh, 37 um, equals to 110. It's an ending. It's an ending of this difficult, complicated cycle in your life. And of course, right after that, you're receiving your wish fulfillment. So once again, we have summon and we have a star. So you're going to get your wish fulfillment, whatever it is you're looking for. So don't give up. This, uh, this complicated journey that you have been through potentially for years, for a very long time, is going to come to an end. You will still going to have your wish fulfillment. Let's clarify it here, High Priestess of Spirit. Despair and cruelty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is who you become. Through this cruel path. Through this cruel journey. Through this painful, difficult journey. Where you had absolutely nobody to, to rely upon. The only thing I feel you had. Is your wish. Is your wish and your internal strength. That's exactly what star means here. Star stars meaning that's all you have had there was nobody to help you going through this difficult journey the only thing that helped you is your internal spirit and through this cruelty this path of cruelty and despair and suffering you once again unleashed your inner knowledge you learn how to trust yourself 
you you only had to rely on yourself, right? But uh, what's amazing about this particular imagery <clears throat> is that we have other faces in the background. Your spirit guides, okay? We have a beautiful lady here falling asleep and, of course, receiving the support, receiving the information in order for you to bright, shine bright through this difficult journey. So, a lot of pain. My words cannot uh, explain through what you've been through. But one thing I can uh, tell you, that you are going to find the truth and you are going to find your wish fulfillment. Star is, is one of my favorite card in a tarot deck <clears throat> that represents wish fulfillment wish fulfillment whatever it is you dearly wish for so complicated cycle ends what is this complicated cycle relating to or in regards of what is this situation what is this situation about we have nine of swords nine of swords and we have ace of wands right after that The devil you're fighting toxic toxic situation potentially some individual in a position of authority who is uh, psychopathically sick in the head who restrained you unlawfully you literally faced face darkness you face darkness it not necessarily have to be in regards of judicial matter or legal matter it's is an individual um who did not treated you right, who intentionally wanted you to be subjected to cruel, inhumane, degrading life. You could have also been restrained unlawfully and put in this position of cruelty because of some sociopathic, toxic individual. You did not receive help from authorities. Why? Because this toxic abuse of power and authority. You understand? So you suffered plenty. I feel like this toxic community, and it's, it's most likely some sort of community here by the Emperor and Justice Guard, that is sick in the head, sick in the head, treated you inhumane and cruel. Highly sick. Connected with some sort of ex, potentially, or because of your ex, ex-lover, who did this to you, who betrayed you. We also have divine intervention. And also have new love. And we have change and transformation. So things are ending. There's some sort of toxic, sociopathic ex-partner, potentially that have brought and unleashed this troublous cycle in your life. This sociopathic ex wanted you to suffer for some reason, caused you a lot of pain and suffering. Or could be a toxic community, but this is most likely karmic relationship. I also have friends influences so your ex potentially was influenced by his friends or whatever the case may be and i also feel that this individual is regretting it <clears throat> well they understand that they made a mistake they could have married somebody else because they simply wanted to have good times betrayed you and now this individual is regretting it which once again it doesn't matter i'm not necessarily looking and this individual, the fact is that the cards did clarify that this has had to do with some sort of X. With some sort of masculine, toxic masculine and his sick, cruel friends. And we have destruction. Destruction for the devil. Destruction for this individual. And finally, the justice will be served. Okay. Material success. So if your ex 
your ex's friends, whatever the case may be, the sociopathic individuals that once again enjoyed to see you suffer and cause you despair and suffering and this way of humiliation. I feel like this is done. This community of sociopathic lunatics are done. We do have here a king of swords. This could be another individual here that is coming in, coming in heavily. Also fall under the card of emperor, which represents protection. I also feel like you will be protected, okay? And whoever mistreated you and treated you the way that you should have never been treated will get their karma for what they did, for what they did. So currently there is a destruction, destruction in your karmic life. What kind of destruction this toxic community of your karmics is going to receive? What kind of destruction? Temperance. Things are going to slow down for them. For now, they kind of like walking in a circle. Um, could have health issues started already for some. Difficulties and burdens. They don't know how to get out. We have seven of swords. A lot of betrayal because they're getting catching up with their own lies. They cannot keep up anymore with the lies that they plotted. Okay, they cannot keep up. Whatever they started, uh, they, they feel exhausted. I'm all, I almost feel like they're getting cornered and trapped. Their lies and their manipulation getting nowhere. I do have some female here, Queen of Wands. She could be your enemy. What can I say? This individual enjoyed what you suffer, cause you suffering. But the one thing for sure I can pick up that it's getting very heavily to manipulate. To manipulate. She potentially could have health issues. Something to do with health. Health-related issues. Heavily. So this is the first thing. The other thing financially. I feel like financial cycle and her finances are coming to an end. She no longer can keep up with this lavish, corrupted lifestyle, this lying lifestyle. So things are slowing down for her. See, financial, financial. She's losing authority. She's losing power. This female could be somebody who interfered in your relationship with an ex. Could be a mother. Could be anybody. Okay, could be anybody. So you more or less fill in under your circumstances but tower twice here so there is a problem there is a problem this individual is no longer are given resources to feel comfortable financially because it was all based on a lie she could have abused her power and authority she could have lied okay so the one thing for sure like i mentioned that there is a destruction because she's fake She's fake. False person. She lied. She manipulated everybody. So she is being exposed for her lies, okay? Yeah, bad health, see? She could be in a bad health. There's something that she is concerned about. Something that is she concerned about. This is, could be related to children. She could have issue with a child. Or child's being very sick. I hope not. Um, because child's innocent. Um... However, she is concerned here. Concerned. She's very concerned because she stole from you. You understand? She understands that her position are bad. That she is being cut up. Cut up. And she's losing. That's another thing. She's losing. She cannot get ahead. She can no longer keep up with all the lies. And the story plot that she used against you once again in order to cause you cruelty and pain and humiliate you it was in a way too personal okay it wasn't random it was a personal connected to your ex lover and his friends so this female is either his mother his boss friend like best friend or whatever the case may be, or a partner, current partner. So whatever these karmics did connected to this cheating ex, who 
school we've seen had some good sex, sexual time, whatever the case may be, the, the cheater, the traitor, they're part of this community. They're part of this community. So positions of her is bad because she's right now trying to avoid it. She's trying to avoid this destruction for her bullshit, for her corruption, for her abuse of power and authority, for her sick mind. Uh, but sadly for her, she won't be able to get away with it. It is good for you. It is good for you because there is this king of swords over here who stands stands on your side. So you're not going to deal with this sicko by yourself. Okay? You're not going to be alone. So in regards of this bad house and she's concerned because she understands that she's pretty much been caught. She's been caught for what she has been doing. And uh, this is more feels like to me that she's starting to have a lot of issues health-wise. Health issues. Health issues and financial issues. So this is the two, two signs um, that things are coming to an end. So she's concerned. She's worried. She's worried. Why are you so concerned? Because you're a bullshitter? Sociopathic liar? That's why you're concerned? With your perjury? Well, meditation, clearing space, because you remove this negative energy, okay? She feels broken. She feels crushed. She feel crushed. Maybe that she was expecting or hoping of some sort of agreement. Agreement or settlement. Okay. Support of some sort. But I don't feel like she's getting it. She's chained. She's chained down. Commitment. Long-term commitment. Karmics. Third party. Unexpected surprise visit. And social media accounts. Well, she may potentially, like I said, watches you. Of course she is. After all the shit this lunatic have caused you, of course. Of course she's going to potentially follow up on you and see how you're doing. She may potentially influence some sort of acts to come and see you, contact you, talk to you. Well, that's not going to be successful either. But I also have here financial interview. And uh, we have financial support from the government and we have interview okay so she's gonna she she understands she's gonna be interviewed she she understand that she uh, she's gonna have to answer she's gonna have to answer for what she did and what happened okay so uh, I feel like she's trying right now really hard to gather as much information she can about you potentially that she could use it against you maybe at one point she tried to send out the X, that karmic X, we seem to speak to you, to meet with you, whatever the case may be. Um, but that's not going to work. Maybe she tried to befriend you. That's not going to work either. Okay, so she's freaking out because she uh, been already busted for either um, faking social media accounts, contacting you under fake social media accounts, watching your social media accounts, and amongst many other terrible things. Because remember, that's, that's a toxic person. The devil means that this individual absolutely have no morality. The deceiver and the liar. She's a fake. She's two-faced. Two-faced individual. So her position, she's going to have to answer. She's going to have to answer for what she has done against you and she's freaking out okay she's scared but this was all coming to it anyways she cannot hurt you i feel like she cannot hurt you so if you have absolutely no worries i have meditation i have clearing space maybe you did some sort of um clearing or meditating ceremony where you where you remove negativity so i do not feel that she could cause you harm she's trying but it's not working and the only thing she's doing is only entrapping herself. And it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. Okay. You remove this negativity. 
because I feel even though she tried to put you in this position of cruelty, so you feel humiliated, so you feel insecure and unworthy of who you are, instead, you take in this pain and you transformed into this beautiful high priestess of a spirit, meaning you've learned how to trust your spirit, your soul, how to trust the higher power. And of course, any sort of negativity this lunatic tries to send you, you just saying, okay, no problem, I'll clear it out. So I see that you're constantly doing some sort of cleansing uh, rituals, whatever the case may be, either burning sage, whatever other things you do, or just simply whatever, it's your thing. But I feel like you're removing this negativity. She's trying. She she would be really happy if you would be in despair. If if you did not know what to do. She wanted you to lose control over your own life. That was her goal. To disorientate you. So you do not feel secure. And the moment you would lose guard she would win but all of these attempts is useless because clearly your karmic is a stupid person and they're showing me a woman here who has absolutely no understanding of who you are you are a fighter you are a fighter and you're about to finish this bitch you have a great strength strengths that this sociopath could not match. Even with the 30 or hundreds minions this loser has running for her. You are the great warrior. So she underestimated you and you're about to finish this dumb bitch once and for all. Once and for all. So I can assure you that this idiot better watch out because I do have here health issues. She's sick. It's evident she's sick, but I'm, I'm talking about an actual sickness, health sickness, and she's concerned. She's about to lose her stability, her comfort with Nine of Pentacles. So, what, you know, whatever she wished upon you this whole time is actually going to boomerang back to her because it's exactly what cleansing card is about. It's about whatever you send to me, I'm going to send it back to you. And clearly, you did not miss. So she's better watch out what the fuck she's doing because I can assure you, you're just going to boomerang it back, okay? You're still, you're still going to get your wish fulfillment. Anyways, in fact, the, the primary card of this reading is completion of the cycle of abuse the ending of the cycle of abuse what is this uh, false person in bad health clarified what is this strike the bad position of winning against you she missed the plan I feel like she saw it would work. Done. It's gone. She keeps missing. And every time she's, like I said, attempting something to oppress you. To put more burdens on you. Like I said, we have Herophon and Magician. Voila. Back, right back at you. You understand? So you are 100% here highly protective. There is without doubt that you are highly protective. With the high priestess indication here, um, immediately I, was, uh, I knew who you are, my collectives. I knew you are very powerful. You're a pair of powerful fighters. You're strong. you protected by your spirit guides. And on top of that, I have a magician. You are the master you can take this lunatics, whatever she's doing, and simply oppress her. So the more harm she does to you, the more she gets oppressed. 
It's already second time we have Ten of Swords came in for her. So she doesn't know what the fuck is going on anymore. She's losing control. She's losing control. While you keep rising. You are protected. And you know why this is happening? Because you were right all along. Whatever this female and your ex karmic did to you was not called for. It was not fair. And God is fair. God is fair. God will watch over this situation until eventually God's going to say, listen to me, lunatic. I will put you back where you belong. You've done too much, and now it's time to pay for what you've done. So her her failure was unavoidable no matter how much he would try, she would try to do it. It was a failure from beginning. But she yet to understand who you truly are and what strengths do you possess and who fights your battles. So she's finished. Burdens. What else? What else here? <clears throat> King of Pentacles comes up in here. Some masculine. Some masculine over here at one point helped her. Could be her colleague. You know, somebody that she could have relied upon. You know. Or, or her business partner, or they're together a business partner. What about this King of Pentacles? Three of Pentacles, the person looking elsewhere. The person thinking of somebody else. This person wants to be with somebody else. Okay, King of Pentacles. He doesn't no longer wants to cooperate with this person. He's not looking at her. He doesn't want her offers anymore. He's tired. Uh, so he's looking elsewhere. Where are you looking to? What What are you looking for? What are you looking at? So I feel like he, he wants out. So it looks like even friends, this whole corrupted circle leaving her. See, Journey, he, he wants to took off. He wants to took off. Journey. In the bottom of the deck, I have a courthouse here. Courthouse and lovers. So they could be lovers. Maybe they at one point hook up. Official person. Again. And a courthouse. And privileged lady. Some sort of other king of pentacles here. Wants her out. He wants her out. So maybe they kind of related to the same field of work, could be, potentially. But there is another individual here, King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles. Working. Maybe this is a King of Pentacles who is a cop or a, or a judge or an investigator who is looking into this privileged lady. And he wants her out. He wants her to be broke. Meaning that if you, let's say, were to sue her, if this is a possibility for you, of course, depending on the level of cruelty you sustain from her, uh, he wants her out, okay? So I feel like she's, she's no longer going to be privileged much longer. Much longer. She understands that. She's not, she's not a stupid person. Uh, toxic people satanic people, fake people, they they often very intellectual, you know, to, to build this whole scheme of this whole lies, he probably needed like FBI chart board, you know, she's tried, she calculated every single thing. But once again, the only thing she forgot to add on her chart is your face, is your power, is your belief in yourself. She underestimated you. You know, she never expected it that this is going to go as far. She thought she was going to profit, make money, 
you know, continue living her beautiful life of, of self-stability and joy um, until until you, you speak up, until you speak up, until you show her otherwise. She was hoping you'll come and bow your head before her, but that will never happen. So I also feel like uh, she will be out here. This is already on the way. On the way, she's going to receive and notice. It was. A, it will be an official judicial notice. Individual most likely will travel from a distance somewhere, somewhere else. So I'm assuming this is. This is could be a person uh, located in another province, or could be uh, from the higher court, like a higher uh, official higher than her and uh, she she will receive notice that she's fired that she's done she's done she's not welcome anymore she's gonna be sued or this is, could be a notice of her arrest point is poverty we had card 37 here for you the changes and we have 37 here again the ending the ending of your suffering because this privileged lunatic will also stop causing you harm. She will be served with judicial official documents of her arrest, restraining orders, no contact orders, and potentially settlement. Okay. So, so yeah, she's going to have problems. She's, she will definitely going to have problem with the law. And she knows that she's scared. She's scared. She is scared. See? Journal. Something written. We have gossip here for her gossip. It's on record. Documented. Documented that she potentially did so out of jealousy and out of envy towards you. She bullshitted. She's a liar. That's all, that's, that's all who she is. So believe me, she's going to get problems with the law for her big, big mouth and, she, and bounty hunters. They're investigating her. They're watching her really closely. If she thinks that there is some sort of app that, you know, have two-factor encrypted messages bullshit uh, for CSIS, there's no such a thing as encrypted. The only thing is encrypted is your own stupidity. Nothing is encrypted. Doesn't matter what app are you using. United States, Canada, UK, Australia, common law nations, they can have access even if you're using VPN. This is called Five Eyes. Look it up. No matter what IP you use, no matter what encrypted messages you're using, you're using the seller towers. Higher officials will always have access to your information, even if you think it's encrypted. Okay? There's no such a thing as privacy. Not under investigation. No such thing. So she will be interviewed about all the shit she did to you. Okay, it's a sick, jealous lunatic. Now, the only question I have about this privileged sociopathic liar, I just want to see, if this, is this is your ex's wife? Like, why, why so much gossip? Like, I don't understand that. So let's take a look here. I'm just going to pull this thing. We'll keep the X lower because he's involved here as well. And I just want to, I'm just curious to see who in the world is this individual did it for? Who was it? What connection exactly did this female has to your X lover? This is what I'm mostly concerned because i get a lot of people every time i do this reading for you guys which by the way it's the same story because i read in it for you right so it cannot really change but i'm very interested to see exactly what kind of sicko 
this person is to do this to you? Like, who do you have to be? To what extent do you have to be uh, with, with an individual to do this to another person? Sickle. I'm sorry to say that, but definitely. So, you know that this complicated situation is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Okay, we have X law over here. We have Queen of Wands. My question is pretty direct. Give me a second. I light my fire. And I just want to find out. Who is this individual is? What are the relationship between this Queen of Wands and this ex lower? How are they connected? How are they connected? Three of Cups, friends. So far, friends or third party. Clarified more. So they have good times together. Good times. We have Hermit. We have Six of Wands. And we have Offer. So it sounds to me like some sort of offer. Offer. Okay. So I feel like she wanted to win. To win, to be chosen. Six of Wands is a card of being, you know, being chosen, celebrated. Yay. You're so great. Ace of Pentacles, so there is definitely financial offer. Now it looks family to me, family, marriage. In fact, sick marriage, and there she is, Queen of Wands. It's, it's, it's probably an ex, I mean a partner, a current partner of your ex. A current partner of your ex. family someone so, someone who it's a part of the family i don't see two of cups here but i see a family okay i see a family so it's someone from the family could be a mother could be a mother but i also see money here money 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 this person just all about money money okay could have been an offer of of to, to enter of some sort of family could be an offer of uh, you know be part of some sort of joint uh, family business family where they can make money together because in her mind I feel like she was searching for financial stability she uh, She's in a way of a loner. I can kind of sense that she's in a way of the loner. She didn't want to be alone. Okay, she, th this is once again, a wife or someone in a part of the family. So it, it will resonate for some of you different, but it's directly female that knows your ex very closely. Very cl closely. Now tell me. Let's take a look. Uh, is this King of Wands? Is she is um, mother of your ex? No, okay. Is she wife of your ex or a common law of your ex? Yes. 
if she's a business partner of your ex related through work only maybe maybe they're business business colleagues and a current partner is she a sister no is she's a friend a good friend is she's a spouse or a love romantic partner yeah yeah it's a it's a, it's a romantic partner it's showing me a romantic partner of some sort and uh it does clarify it was a three of cups. It clarifies it was an offer. So this is potentially could have been three of you. And, um, but showing me three women. So this is, could be her plus somebody else, some other two women they showing me that participated in this whole gossip and slander. Okay. That could have been somebody in the position of authority or whatever the case may be. The final, final ending for this uh, family. Final ending for this family. Eight of Swords, imprisonment. Detention, restrictions. And once again, remember about housewives, we have a little child sick here. And of course, we have oppressions. They will feel oppressed, burdened. There's going to be a lot more problems that they're going to have to deal with. A lot of problems. And we have Queen of Swords. Two of Cups. Four of Pentacles. And we have perfect job, perfect work. From you, from you. The problems are going to come in from you. From you. This is this is a card of you here. Queen of Swords. She will learn it hard way that um, you will speak your truth. You will be loved. You will be loved. You will have stability. You will have offer. You will have potentially new offer, stable offer. Uh, and then you and, and the new employment so new job for you if she try to ever interfere in your income don't worry about it your income will be more than perfectly fine so um what she hates right now is that you telling the truth remember we seen king of swords came in at the beginning that's supposed to come in together with you you come up as a queen of swords and i have happiness 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 because this witch queen of wands the witch she could be a witch you know she could could participate so some shit was instance uh, for example uh oil or just buying a book from chapters or indigo on witchcraft and trying to do some shit by herself who knows who knows to think for sure that this is a very disturbed individual disturbed individual maybe like i said at one point she's either a friend a friend of your ex uh she could be a spouse of your friend she could be the mother whatever the case may be but celebration because an ending of this sociopathic gang the ending the ending and you once again going to check out for your options the moon and we have uh, rune 
you do not expect right now you do not expect you honestly for some i feel like you don't believe that this is going to come to an end but but it is your enemies will be destroyed it will come to an end even though by the moon card you kind of hesitate you're doubtful you're doubtful that this sociopath um two-face individual is going to be brought to justice but i can assure you she will okay she will and it was all because of your ex you know your ex your ex and her <clears throat> What's up with this ex and her again? Single. Single, not in a relationship. She's afraid to be alone. She's insecure. She's have She have anxiety, worry. She's worried that your ex will potentially reconcile with you. She's scared. She's scared to be left alone. She's scared to be left alone. Intimacy home there's a problems with intimacy at home could be hurting pain so there's a issues upon of issue upon us upon us upon on issues because your ex truly did not end the relationship with you since the third party interfered so she's scared that maybe your ex has some sort of feelings towards you she's scared of that okay intuitively Intuitively, she knows that he thinks of you. If this is his partner, if this is his spouse, she knows. She knows deep down he feels, he, he thinks of you. Okay, women are very sensitive. They can pick up a lot of information. So she feels like he will come back to you. Okay, so... A lot of fears, a lot of fears. We have regrets. We already seen it before. The masculine in regrets, passion, attraction, soulmate, missing you, addiction, unhealthy attachment, but doesn't have a courage, doesn't have a courage to approach you because you changed. You're not the same as you used to be. So, so pointless. Uh, Point is, is over, is over. Okay, ending of relationship, truth coming out. She's trying to hide the truth of what happened. It's just a, a complete, like I said, Santa Barbara show. You cannot keep up who's involved, how many individuals are involved. One thing for sure that you need to understand, that you will win over this sick individual, this fake, lying sociopathic lunatic okay that's all you need to know so uh, let's take a look about your cleansing we came across that you have used cleansing okay what is this about or you will be cleansed we have fertility expanded awareness and we have heart healing, yes. See, you healed your heart. You healed your heart because you're aware. You're aware, you, you realize what is your potential. You realize your internal potential, you expanded your awareness and your heart is completely healed. And because your heart healed, you could care less about your ex lover and his karmic sociopathic friends. Your heart is healed. Healed. Let's see more about your heart. Your sweet, beautiful heart. You release the pain. See, surrender and release. We have music. And we have playfulness. You started to finally be you again. You started potentially writing music, listening to the music, see new beginning. You're like, you know what? I'm so happy. I started this new be beginning. I value myself. I'm happy. I'm happy with who I am. Because remember, intention of this sicko from your past 
was to uh, disrespect you, disrespect you, so you feel insecure, so you be in despair, so you feel in humiliated. Only a bitch that would had sex with your ex would wanted that to happen. There is no other individual in this planet that would had so much hatred of revenge over your ex. Only the current partner that is obsessed with your ex or the ex of your ex partner that is obsessed with your ex. But there is definitely was intimacy, sex involved. So you, like I said, you have new beginning. You're like, I'm so happy. I'm just going to... I'm so happy. Now let's see what is this happiness about this new beginnings. We have grew. We have again complicated. And we have individuality. And we have reminder. Don't forget. So this is once again. Don't forget. If your ex do decides to come back to you. Once the truth will surface. Do not forget what this person done to you. It's your choice whether you want to accept them or not. I leave it up to you. More of a message clearly. Do not forget what this person put you through. And the second question. If one left you in your hardest and did not love you at your worst, does that individual deserves you at your best? No. No. So if I were you, I would just say, fuck off. Go where you come from. And the new beginnings were seen. There's a new person coming in. Let's take a look briefly. Who is this new person? More or less. Well, this person is so far remains a mystery. One thing for sure. Oh, of course, not a mystery. King of Pentacles. There he is. <laughs> King of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups. There you are. Okay. So... You are going to meet your destiny. You're destined to be with this person. And honestly, this person just going to put you on his back and carry you. Carry you away. He's like, you ain't, you ain't going anywhere. You are going to be with me. So as you can see, you will be together floating in this joy of passion. You will feel like kids. I see that you're going to spend a lot of time outside together. On a nature, you, you're going to be very intimate you may have your own farm and have a, a livestock okay this individual is a is a very kind loving person so he will will he will treat you as a queen because he knows how to treat a woman unlike your karmic ex who is a sex addict who could have not withstand the pressure of his friends and amongst this friends of his was that other obsessed current partner of his. So this new man, you're, you're by destiny to be together. Destiny, okay. You're destined to be together. Also represents the star. This man or woman coming in towards you is your destiny. And this man is going to be so caring that there could be a little paddle. This person will grab you and carry you over to make sure you do not get your shoes wet. You're going to be his princess. He's a busy man. Okay. You can see he's sitting in a chair. He's working. He spends a lot of time potentially at work. And you, you're just going to, you know, do whatever you want. Enjoy. Enjoy. So he wants to provide for you. Okay, we also have card here, Nine of Cups. And Nine of Cups, he's, uh, he's, he's going to offer you whatever you want, right? At first, when you're going to meet him, you're going to be like, hmm... I don't know if I should trust this person, right? Because he's wearing a mask. But then, of course, you're going to trust him. 
you gotta trust him. At first, at the beginning, you will be like cautious, like, uh, I don't know, let's let take things slow. I need to kind of get to know you, so on and so on. Uh, but then eventually you're just going to share this beautiful, amazing, amazing partnership together. Amazing love together. So you will be together. We have deaths in this part. Will be the ending. So there could be a duel. Duel between those two men. I feel like your ex will want you back. And, and there is already going to be this other masculine. Okay, so once the truth will prevail and your ex will find out who they're with and who they were surrounded by, he will attempt to come back to you. But you're going to say no, no, death card. And, and therefore you will choose another man. You will choose the other man. Sure, it was in a way it will be hard for you to bury that because... Maybe in a way you hoped, you hoped that maybe this person will come back or at least apologize because this whole bullshit interference is ended, but you will choose to end the past. And, and believe me, X will most likely will, will flow back up into your life. What advice I have for you? I got two. By accident, we have love life, new or renewed romantic love is here for you. So know that that lover of yours is around you. Okay. And we also have multi-faced. There are many layers and dimensions of the situation or persons. Person you are asking about. So once again... We don't know the under hidden meaning, so why the ex did what he did. I was not really looking, concentrating on that. Maybe, maybe there was some sort of pressure and manipulation done by this sociopathic woman and the friends. This is not today's topic of my reading. But once again, new love, without doubt, is coming in and will fight for you. Will fight for you. So, not your ex. Not his lunatic, sociopathic, two-face, not case, not their friends, understands that the individual that protects you are the last person you want to fuck with. So that's something they need to understand. I don't think they understand it yet. Uh, I mean, once they starting seeing physically and experiencing this boomerang losses or karmic losses maybe eventually they'll they'll get the point maybe never it's hard to say hard to say all right my wonderful collectives this was the reading for you i hope you enjoyed it do not forget to like and subscribe Let's do some cleansing here for you quickly. And I hope you will have a wonderful night. Sweet, sweet dreams. So have a wonderful day. I love you.